A local artist puts the charm in Charm City Baseball and how is Baltimore honoring Veterans Day? Nikki Mayo has more around town. I have art in my blood. After 15 years, the Orioles had a winning season, but the history of Ron Russell's art spans more than 100 years of winning baseball. It helps to uh, to have a winning team, it perks everyone up. Russell has dedicated his life to the art of America's pastime. Every character is wearing knickers and the long stockings. It's my typical baseball uh, feeling. We know about peanuts and Cracker Jacks, but who knew there were so many tasty ways to call a game? That's Ron's specialty. He's all about poking fun at the food terminology associated with the game. This is an ice cream cone. Some people call it ice cream cone, some people call it uh, snow cone. Okay. But it's when you catch, when the fielder catches the ball and it just, <laughs> it just barely tips out. Dying quail is a ball that's hit in the outfield and the wind will blow it and it'll, it'll drop. Can of corn actually is, is an easy catch. Goose eggs mean it's, the scoreboard has nothing but zeros on it. Pickle is when a runner gets into a rundown to uh, advance another runner. Butterfingers, obviously. Cheese is a fastball. Onion picker, that's a fielder. This is a fish over a dish. This one is called two with mustard. That's a, that's a ballpark hot dog. And if you look close, you can catch a glimpse of Ron himself in many of his paintings. The fun part is trying to find him in the crowd. And in celebration of Veterans Day, the city honored all branches of the military, and some businesses are also offering treats for the troops. At any California pizza kitchen, pick up a free pizza and drink. Applebee's is giving veterans a free signature entree and enjoy a free meal at the Olive Garden. For The List, I'm Nikki Mayo.